A beloved Toronto teacher has been identified as York Region's latest murder victim. The 64 year old woman was stabbed to death inside this home here in the Martin Grove and Highway 27 area. Her husband is now charged with murder. Yeah, it was um, shocking, um, sad to, to see in here. Yeah. But uh, overall, like, you know, it's just like, I'm still in disbelief. Police have identified the victim as 64-year-old Estella Wheeler, a woman who was well-known and well-loved. Neighbors tell City News she and her husband Trevor have been living here for almost 15 years. They have three grown kids and a little grandson. To find out it was her, it was like devastating because it was like such a nice lady, quiet to herself. I mean, it was like shocker, you know. Neighbors say the couple came from Jamaica years ago before settling into this quiet neighborhood. While he ran a scrap metal company, she was a beloved teacher working with black children at Toronto's Afrocentric Alternative School on Shepherd Avenue. City News interviewed Estella just a few weeks ago for Black History Month. They see themselves in school, they see themselves in books, they see themselves excelling, they see themselves black people who have gone high heights. The Toronto District School Board shared the troubling news with the school community in a letter that read, during her time at our school, she developed strong relationships with students and staff and will be remembered as an incredibly kind and giving person who was friends with everyone. Obviously quite a scene for our officers and any of the responding first responders and also for family or anyone in the neighborhood. And we have victim services available to anyone that requires them. Forensic investigators have been in and out of the house all day collecting evidence. Maria, who lives next door, tells me the husband was always friendly and went out of his way to help neighbors with odd jobs around their homes. And she cannot comprehend the fact that he's now accused of murder. Maybe things were going on. You don't know, right? We had closed doors. Now, according to the TDSB, the victim had been a teacher at that school for seven years now. Support is being offered to staff and students, especially those in Estella's class. In Woodbridge, Shauna Hunt City News.